I am leaving. Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. So it is Sunday evening, it's about five o'clock, and I'm getting ready to prep some of my meals for the week. So I wanted to share with you guys what I make for the week, and I'm gonna make this super quick so that the rest of this vlog can be classroom related stuff, but Cash is asleep right now, luckily. My parents are gone. Normally my mom would watch Cash, kind of hang out with him while I did this, but he's asleep so I'm taking advantage of it. So what I like to do is I like to buy the ground beef from Costco and it comes in packages like these and it's organic ground beef and then I also get organic chicken thighs which I really like but I'm probably gonna put those in the crock pot in the morning because I want them to be super flavorful and soft and delicious so I'm probably gonna put those in the crock pot in the morning with some chicken broth but what I'm doing right now is I'm just cooking up this ground beef and then I also get this. These are harvest grains and they're from Trader Joe's and I really like them. Either this or I do like brown rice with quinoa or white jasmine rice. I really like jasmine rice as well and I'll cook some of that up. And then I like the green beans from Costco as well. They're organic frozen green beans. I like the frozen ones because they don't go bad and I can buy like a package of them and it lasts me like a month. So they look like this. And they're just organic frozen green beans. And then I can do peas or I could do broccoli. Broccoli tends to get the baby kind of gassy, so I kind of steer clear broccoli and just stick with the green beans because they are really good. But so right now I'm just working on the meat since it takes the longest and I'm working on the grains. And then since the green beans are frozen, I'll just throw them in last because they take like no time at all. So I'm just cooking up this ground beef. And then I also bought some bagels. These are um, the Dave's Killer Organic Bagels. And then I get organic Greek whipped cream cheese, which I'm gonna pull out right now. So it looks like this. I don't think this is organic, is it? No, it's not organic, but that's okay. And then I also get this Butcher Shop Uncured Turkey Bacon. And I like this one because it has no nitrates and it's not preserved. So I get that and then I will grab some eggs. Probably, let's see, I'll probably make four. So I like to make one egg per day because I don't really like eggs that much. And then I just grab a little bit of this cheddar cheese. And I basically make the egg like I would a normal egg. Um, and then I cut them into four pieces and then I put a piece of egg for each bagel. And then I make myself pre-made breakfast sandwiches and all I have to do is throw them in the toaster oven at work or I can just eat them plain. I don't really mind eating them plain uh, and it's just super fast and easy. So yeah, that is what I'm making for lunches and breakfast for the week. And my mom cooks dinners so I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, I also bought this Milk Flow um, drink supplement. It's like a fenugreek and blessed thistle breastfeeding supplement. I don't know. My, uh, my supply has gone way down, so I got those. I got that, sorry. And then I also got these Aussie Bites, which I really like because they have oats in them. Oh, and they are soaking wet. Um, these are from Costco as well. They're organic and they're made with oats and fruit and like other super healthy stuff. So that is what I am doing currently. But I'll show you the containers we bought. We got them on Amazon and they're just these black containers and they have like the lid. Um, if you look up food prep containers, you'll find a ton of stuff on Amazon, but that's what we use. So now I can put this in the freezer and this is two weeks worth of lunches for me. Um, probably more than two weeks actually, because if I do chicken, half chicken, half ground beef, then it will last me a while. But Scott actually eats like this too, so this will probably last us like a week and a half, because he'll have one and I'll have one, depending on how many meals are chicken, how many meals are beef. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just cooking up 
our food for the week. morning guys happy monday so i just walked into my classroom and i have some unpacking to do i went to costco yesterday as you guys know and i got some more whiteboard markers dry erase markers sorry i also went to target and i bought some prizes because i'm doing the shark tank invention thing i got on teachers pay teachers i forget who the seller was but if you look up Shark Tank on Teachers Pay Teachers, you'll see it. And I'm going to choose three winners. They're going to be starting to present tomorrow and then on Thursday. So I bought these cute little dollar spot uh, Dr. Seuss bags. And then I got each child a pack of pencils. I got each child a bag of Starburst. And what else did I get them? I know there's something else. Is that it? That's all I got them. And then I was going to go buy a couple of restaurants and see if they could give me some coupons for like a free kids meal or something so and then i also got naughty naughty some flare pens these are the candy pop ones and i actually have something coming in the mail that i'm really excited about and it kind of goes with those so and then I have like a crap ton of food I need to unpack because basically I live in my classroom and I brought a bunch of food because I need to get my calories up so that I can provide more milk. So I'll show you what I brought. I got these at Costco. They're like protein chips and I think they're plant-based so they're not super fatty. So I got those. And then I brought some organic almonds and those Aussie Bites that I was telling you guys about yesterday. I brought the whole thing in here. So I'm just gonna get unpacked and then I need to get started with planning because I'll be honest with you, it's the day after spring break ended and I have nothing, absolutely nothing prepared or planned for the day. I do have the standards that I'm teaching, so that's kind of fine. I mean, the reading standard that I'm teaching is super simple and I already have a PowerPoint like done and ready to go for that. Um, but I don't have any copies made or anything for the rest of the week. But it is kind of like a weird day because we do have the Shark Tank stuff due this week. So today we're just finishing up speeches and things like that. And, um, and then I'll be gone on Wednesday. So it's kind of gonna be a short week. And we have AZ Merit testing or AZ Merit practice on Thursday afternoon. So really like our whole afternoons are kind of like taken up. So. I'm gonna get this whole mess organized and then I will catch up with you guys. Ooh, I also picked up these from the dollar spot because I'm planning on doing a STEM project. Probably not this week, maybe this week, but it's like an army man launcher and I just thought this was perfect because army guys are like really hard to find and these are super perfect. And there's 24 of them, so if I have them in small groups, then I'll be able to use these year after year. So while I have you guys here, I'm gonna give you some really exciting, really sad, but super yeah. exciting news. I am leaving. My husband and I are building a new house, as you guys know, and the new house is not here in Prescott. It's actually down in the East Valley. Um, if you're from Arizona, you know where the East Valley is. If you're not from Arizona, it's in the Phoenix area. Um, but yes, we are moving away. I'm leaving my beautiful school, I'm leaving my best friend Jennifer, and I'm really, really sad about it, but I'm actually really excited because I get to be with my husband every single day, and my son gets to be with my husband every single day, and it's gonna be really great for our family. Um, Scott was going to transfer up here, but they actually don't offer as much money in the field that he's in, and it's much better down there. Um, he'll make more money, and the cost of living is a little bit cheaper. I'll make more money. And so I just really need prayers um, from you guys uh, that I can find a job. I have applied for a couple of positions in the district where we're gonna live. And so far I haven't gotten any interviews or any like responses, but I'm hoping I'm staying positive that something will come my way. And if it doesn't, then I do plan on subbing for a year until I do get my own classroom. So hopefully things will work out the way they're supposed to work out and we're really, really excited. We've been doing long distance for about two years now. Um, when my husband got his job, it was 
he got hired in July and we moved up here in April. So we didn't know that he was gonna be getting that job. And when we purchased our home up here, um, it was on a VA loan and you have to keep your house for two years before you can sell it on a VA loan. So we had to wait two years to be able to do this. So it does suck uh, leaving my family, leaving my friends, but family is most important and Scott and Cash are my family and moving is what we need as a family. So our new house is not in Prescott, it's actually in the Valley. I've been waiting a long time to tell you guys because our house actually closes on Wednesday, which is why I won't be here because I have to drive down, sign the papers, do the final walkthrough, and then um, I, my principal and everybody, they already all know that I'm leaving, but um, we had to just wait until the house closed to really announce everything because it's really just like, I don't know, it's not ours yet until Wednesday, but it's going to be, so it's kind of exciting, and uh, we're really, really looking forward to it, and our house is going to be beautiful. I don't know if you guys have been following me on Instagram, um, but I did put a little bit of it on my story last week, and I did pre-film some footage of the house being built and stuff that I will be posting up on my YouTube channel um, after this video goes live so that you guys can see kind of the progress and I don't mind sharing what my house looks like with you guys because I am really proud of it and it's part of my channel. You guys have always been involved and seen my home and things like that. So I'm super, super excited to be sharing this with you guys. I am really, really sad to be leaving, but it's for the best. So it's a positive, positive thing. It's not anything to be sad about. But I am just sitting here getting my things ready for the day. Oh yeah? Yeah. You couldn't do that today. We're gonna do speech writing this morning. Say hello to the people. Hello, YouTube people. Hello, YouTube people. Hello. YouTube I have 80 pants this morning helping out. <coughs> 80 pants. Aww. Uh, deep hung. Little cute patoots over there putting stuff in the inboxes. <laughs> Do you know where the pencils are? Ah. Back there, I think. You don't have to get them now, I'm just making sure. <laughs> you know where they are. Oh, yeah. There's they're right here. Okay. Goldness. I don't, I don't think it'll be enough for like the next probably month. So. <sighs> I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay, maybe I'll do. Hey, Aiden. So I just got my new lip sense color from Amanda. I got blue red. <laughs> Text structure baby, heck yeah. It goes, text structure baby. All right, stop, collaborate and listen. I have skills to read nonfiction structures. Pick one of the five, problem and solution. Oh, rise, what is the problem? Yo, gotta know. I don't know how this goes. Let's watch. <laughs> So is, is teaching like all of them? Hey guys, so it is the end of Monday and I had a pretty good day. I taught my kids the tech structure song from Bethany Humphreys, um, teaching and so forth. And I also did some small group with um, decimals and fractions. And I was gonna show you guys, I showed this on my Instagram, but some of you guys aren't following my Instagram, so I thought maybe I'd show it to you now. But basically, I created a way to utilize base 10 blocks and use them with a whiteboard marker. So I just had my kids put them in a little like dry erase, or sorry, sheet protector. And then I would have them write the fraction, so let's say six tenths. And then I'd have them write it as a decimal. So this. And then I'd have them show me a model of it using this by just coloring right on top. So. It's 
So as you can see, there's six tenths colored in. So this is just a fun way if you have these blocks to kind of use them for fractions and decimals. And the kids really liked it and it was just an easy way to have them drawing the models of the fractions and then you just pull them out and you can reuse these anytime. They're also great for like a quick whiteboard if like you run out or something. And they're a lot cheaper than buying whiteboards at Lakeshore or something. You just put in a blank sheet of paper and then there you go, it's a whiteboard. So we were doing that and I'm sure I have a ton of things to do today, but I think I'm just gonna go home. Tomorrow we have our Shark Tank presentations and we're gonna be doing them all morning and then we have Fire Pal coming at two o'clock so that kind of dampers that section of that. And yeah, so it's probably gonna just be me um, being the judge, which sucks, but it is what it is. I think I'm just going to pump and go home. Oh, I'm cutting my own head off again. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pump and go home because I really want to get home to see Cash because he went to the chiropractor today and I just, I'm really eager to see how he responds to that. So I'm closing everything out here and I think I'm going to just get going. I do have to plan for a sub um, for Wednesday. I already kind of started doing it, but I just really need to compile, like review things together for the kiddos and not like have anything new. So yeah, I'm just logging off. I'm gonna go use the restroom and then I'm gonna head home. So yeah. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.